42, welcome back to episode 135 of Uncharted 4 Survival Night. Enjoy the show, everybody. I think January created the party. Yep, no, 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 no. Alright, still creating the party. Come on. Come on, create the party. Okay, good. Hopefully they'll get here soon guys, so we can get started this event. Hey, what's up, man? Are you feeling better? Yeah, a little bit. I can say that. All right. Well, I hope you get extra better, cause dude, that shit sucks, my friend. You getting dizzy like that? Yeah. As you progress towards the story, yeah. well, Death, Strand Death Stranding is kind of like that, you know. But the only thing that's different is that you have to have Sam Bridges to carry the cargo to put it in the research place. So yeah, man. Um, superhero Fame is going to join us. I don't know. I don't even know if Son of Sam is going to join us. He might not. Eh, kind of miss the days where he used to, but whatever. Anyways, I don't want to go on to details because I already told you, like, a lot yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So, Austin, what's been going with you? I'm not a monster. Actually, I'm so good to that. So.
Yeah, we might as well go ahead and get started then. Mm, the army of two. Yep, new Devon again. Well, I think Super is going to join us because he, he wrote to me, he said I'm coming. Okay. Right, he can spawn right in then if he does decide to hop on Uncharted. Villains, yay. Alright, I'll be Gabriel Realman for this You'll one. Do, I suppose. Super! I haven't been Roman in a while, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I guess we are we are are we Roman and Rafe a lot. Thank you, Ross. Do <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> On guard, Drake. Yeah. All right, the situation is this: you've got one of your mercenaries incoming. Cut them down. Yes, thank you very much. Now let's get tracked. Super joined us. I get in the party. So bold. It's the last of them. We're done. Another successful endeavor. Shall we press on? All right, headshots and melee only, right? Mm. Cool. I guess I'll get my foul then. Because I need my foul. Hell no, I'll be right back. Okay. Headshots of melee only, oh no wonder. Yeah, but it's in a siege too. Dang. Oh my god. Nice, I like the Eddie that I like I like Super's Eddie. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Boxer Eddie? I don't think he can hear you, so... He's in game chat. We need to get him in the party. Oh, you already told him? Uh, no. You're gonna have to tell him to come in the party. We sent him the invite, because he's still not in the party. He's not on my screen. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can invite him. So just to invite Jin... And Super... There you go. 
I already, I already set the invite. That memo. I. I might die here because I'm at the party mini, but we'll see what happens. I think, I think I said. Players are loud. Thank you, Austin. Wow, they punched me to death. Thank you. At least he didn't wind up hanging out with one punch, man. He would have knocked you dry. Yeah, no. Come on, you. <laughs> Somebody's gotta get him. Yep, yeah, yeah, I'll get these last couple. I already got super. Yo, what's up, bro? What's going on? Not much. Lenny! I'm not gonna tell you where I got that joke from because I don't want to ruin the game for you. Lenny! I don't even sure he went down right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you where I got that joke from. I'm not. <laughs> Oh yeah? <laughs> wow, I legit went down to wow. Super, it's up to you. Lenny! Yeah, try going to the box, man. There's a box not far from you. Yeah, there's a, there's a box over there somewhere. Hmm. No, I'm playing with superhero fame and Austin Larson is who I'm playing with. Yeah, try to get him, try to get him. Super! I'm gonna die! I'm walking all over my friend's corpse. Austin! No! Bro, you're dead too. He's gonna have to revive his using the box. That's if he has money. See, there we go. There we go. There we go. There's a box right there, right in front of you. There we go. Appreciate that. Don't worry. You, you, you'll get your money back and then some. Don't worry about that. We just gotta You want me to this. tell Jen? Okay, when I have time, I'll tell Jen. Jin would play anything. He's always like an open book. Hey, Jin. So, yeah, we need to get rid of that brute. Hey, definitely. Oh my god, sorry, I'm super, I was talking to my sister and I got sidetracked, were you saying something? Uh, yeah, but I went down too, I got choked and it was over. Man, I can't even, got, uh, but to be honest, we all, that was not the best way, we got sidetracked by everything. Yeah, and... And we got choked. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, no, like, no, no, super, super had a good conversation, he said, he said that we all were playing Red Dead, and, um, yeah, we all were playing Red Dead, but here's the thing, um... The trader role is basically broken because like the animals are having problems spawning. So plus the camps, it's more so the camps than the animals. Even though the animals can, will start to spawn once you hit over twenty players. So nice. Yeah, man. It's probably, um, it's probably it's actually a good thing we failed at least once. Um, but, but um. Super, um, if you want to rank up fast, play the online story, and the best way to deal with the Griefers... Austin knows about the player cards. You need to get, like, really good player cards. Yep. Come now. I'm a busy man. There I go. Get yeah, up. Yeah, um... Austin, does the Super knows about the player cards, by the way? Um... I'm not <laughs> sure. I've never even played with him in Red Dead, to be honest. So oh, okay. Alright. Honestly, Ventura with him. I don't really see him getting too many, too many firefights anyway, even though you never know. We'll say Painted Black will do good for him for a while. Just that card alone. We'll say that. Yeah. 
Yeah, but the thing is, firefights can get annoying, and you waste more. You waste more money. No, no, but, but, but he's talking about your rank since you're low rank. Are you a high rank in the game? I'm a 170. Okay, yeah. that's why Austin's giving you advice on what cards you should use. Yeah, the paint it just. We've dealt with the problem, Miss Ross. Do tell what's next on the agenda. Okay. Well, yeah, oh. that's good. You go and beat the story. Yeah, that's that's cool too, man. But 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 with the cards, venture, just paint it black will do good for him for a while once he gets started. That'll right. Be fine. Yeah, like I said, man, if you want to finish the online and then start playing with us, that's totally fine. No, he, okay, yeah. But, um, I think what Super's going to do, he's going to play a single player for first, and then he's going to play the online. I think that's what he's going to do first. And, that, and that's, that's good. I kind of wish I did that, but I just, you know, I was just too lazy to do it. And then also, my, friend, my friends were legit forcing me, you know. So, you know. They were legit with telling me, look, we get the story play online, even though they were saying the story's good. Yeah, it's these guys. Ah, oh, crap, careful. Whoa, that's a ton of circles. <laughs> so what's up, Jim? Wow! Yep, yep, we're sorry. Oh my god, super! I need help! Oh, thank god. Yeah. Oh yeah, my god, there's too many! Too many? No! What the? Yeah, we were screwed. We got screwed right there, but it's all good. There was three of them! Guys, what we gotta, we hell? gotta, we gotta focus, man. We're getting, we're getting sidetracked by all sorts of BS. Hmm. We gotta, we gotta focus. Let's mm. see. I'm gonna go and get us a Sin Tommy Stone. You know what that helmet reminds me of? The TV show Global Guts. I don't know why. When I was a kid, I watched the TV show Global Guts. Do 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 you have it? <laughs> it's it's the '90s, um, Austin. You never heard of it? You never heard of Global Guts? No, of course not. No, I, I don't mean to rub it in, but I was happy being a kid in the, in the '90s. Today's stuff. It's not that exciting. The only thing that's exciting right now is the video games. There we go. Let me turn my stuff down just a tad. The enemy one punch man, that's pretty good. Mm. Yeah, boys, let's try not to get surrounded by a million guys this time. Let's try to take out these two brutes. Man down, man down. Guys, 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 there's a there's a guy there's a guy right there. Bro, we had we one had, more to go, what had, happened? Bro, bro, no 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 I'm angry about that. <laughs> there was a guy that was legit half health and he was a light dude and he didn't die. What the <laughs> guys we really gotta concentrate. Yeah. We're getting soft. Super Wars was saying about stuff from the 90s, and I got sidetracked to this conversation. Oh my guys, god. We, guys, we really got to concentrate. Super, it's I'm all not good, man. You can talk. You. It's just we got to concentrate a little bit. You know, we're getting sidetracked. I'm not blaming you, I swear. We got to sidetrack. We got to focus, guys. That's all. All right. Um, please. It's not because of my... Okay, so we're good, we're good. <laughs> I'm gonna write a, a note here. 
Do not get sidetracked, Ventura. It's your fault. I know, I'm sorry. What the hell? Bruh. Oh my god. What the? Bruh, this <laughs> wave. <laughs> Bro, oh, this God. wave. The first couple times we got sidetracked, I, it's like those guys, you know what? <laughs> screw it, Ventura, let's get Eldorados. I don't care if we're wasting all our money now. We can make it back. Let's get Eldorados. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm going to get a goddamn Eldorado. That is BS. I'm down to 600. Yo I'm down to 600. That's BS how they keep on circling us like that. Now, the first two times we got sidetracked, okay? I ain't going to lie. I have to admit that. The third time, they keep on, they keep on doing that. That's BS. Okay, well, I'll just take left. Austin takes right, and someone takes the middle. I think that's how, how, how it works. Yeah. Yeah, I got the right. And it's just way forward, too. They shouldn't be, they shouldn't, this should be some, like, like level 9 or level 10 BS. Look at that, we- I like super strategy, it's actually working, we have five more left. Yeah, but we gotta get past that last- these last couple. And it's all good, super, you're doing good, you're doing good, don't get down. You're doing good. I threw an Eldorado down there. Finally, that took forever. And oh, shut started. up, it already took us three tries. <laughs> three tries too long. Excellent. Uh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Ventura. We're, we're, it's all good. <laughs> it's full melee oh, only, man. boys. Switch to your pistol. I'm, sw I'm getting my micro. Lenny! Sorry, I just love saying that. I'm not going to tell you where I got that from. I'm not, I promise you. Oh, you figured it out? Oh, never mind then. <laughs> He said, he, Ventura, to be fair, he said it like three or four times. He kept on saying Red Dead. You wasn't listening. Even I heard that. <laughs> they're, pis they're pistols only. Gotta switch to your pistol, buddy. Yeah, pistols only. Yeah, you can, you can okay. pick up the heavy revolvers, though. Okay. Yeah, but, um, even though you played a little bit of part two, I still cannot talk about the whole story because I don't want to spoil it. I don't. Mm. Hey, what's up, Jen? How are you doing in all this craziness? Alright. Yeah. Well, Jen, do, do you still like it when Austin complains a lot? <laughs> Totally. <laughs> uh, Jin likes no, because it's true. He Austin complains like crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> it's all good. They give me a hard time, but you know, I'm just that guy. That's just maybe maybe I played too much of the multiplayer. That might be, that might be my problem. I ain't gonna lie, I be getting, I be getting a little bit too competitive sometimes. I'm not crazy like my friend Shinigami. I, Ventura had the unfortunate pleasure of knowing him. He is a tryhard. He was a tryhard. He all he did was want to win, and then if he didn't win, he got butt hurt in the whole nine yards. And that, and and to be fair, he's only a 14 year old. So what can you do? It's what, and then, and then to be fair, this Shinigami guy, he was, basically, he was my Uncharted clan leader, right? When I first started playing Uncharted, right? They taught me how to get good and everything in the multiplayer. Oh, what was it? Basically, they was among the first people to go to Fortnite. I think Fortnite really got in his head. 
know how kids can be with Fortnite. No, no, no. Dude, Fortnite. Shit. Yeah, yeah, it, it did. Oh my god. Bro I'm, out, bro, I'm out of ammo. Somebody needs to help me out here. Try to get the last target. Now, that's the sad thing. Um, but when Fortnite first came out, dude, Uncharted's fan base was among the first players to it. That's the sad thing. And that pretty much that pretty much ruined our population in the multiplayer. Well, I've been busy playing Death Stranding as well, by the way. I'll help myself. Thank you. Yeah, dude, it's like it's like Metal Gear Peace Walker. You know how you built your motor base in Metal Gear Peace Walker. It's like that, but the only thing that's different is you're actually building property. But, and this is what I told Austin, um, Death Stranding feels like Metal Gear and Silent Hill ha had a baby, and it, and it just became Death Stranding. Yeah, it's like Metal Gear and Silent Hill had a baby, and it, and it became Death Stranding. I, um, you don't get the joke because you haven't played Silent Hill. <laughs> Oh, you have? Oh, okay, I was about to say. Ventura <laughs> talks a lot about Silent Hill here. A little bit. Tanchi loved it. No, the reason why I prefer Silent Hill, I mean Resident Evil is good, but the reason why I prefer Silent Hill over Resident Evil is because Silent Hill is more about the environment setting. It's not about, oh, it's a, it's a virus. Like, get the fuck out of here. It's more about... <laughs> I, I'm joking. Man down again. But yeah, no, but honestly, like, it's about environmental, like, I like how when you solve a, a puzzle, the walls, like, starts to, like, Peel off, and then you feel like you're descending into hell. Boys, we see one more. Try to get him. Try to get him. There we go. There we go. Oh man, I was too close. Too oh. close for comfort, Austin. All right. Harder the challenge, the sweeter the victory. What happens, bro? Just do the best you can. Jenny, whoa! Pick up the gun or something, you know? Hmm. <laughs> I love my Dodge Viper and Gran Turismo. But it's even also cool that you can actually, um, you can actually put some designs on your car, which is pretty cool. And Gran, Tur Gran Turismo, the air, the Gran Turismo air pretty much died after four. No, no, it died after Sport. I'm not joking. It died after Sport. Uh, to be fair, Venture, I stopped playing after four, so. You cannot that, judge it because you haven't played sport, that's, man. <laughs> that's because I just, you know. Yeah, but the thing is, Tur Gran Turismo really hasn't been irrelevant. It, uh, not counting sport. And I don't count sport because it's kind of like a spin-off slash reboot, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's not, no, really it feels like... it's not really been mainstream relevant since the mid-2000s. No, you know what Gran Turismo Sport feels like? Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. Dude. It was what in its place? It Forza took its place. No shit. <laughs> Forza and even to some degree need for speed. Over here, Super. I'll, I'll revive you, buddy. No, need for speed is completely different. Uh, then, 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 yeah, you might as well just say that. Four, so you know it is on the Xbox, but you get my point. Yeah, wow. There yeah, well, was a need for speed on the Vita, but I just never, I never had the chance. All the kids used to play it. Yep. Yeah, but I had a Vita port. You know, Je Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad was also in the movie Need for Speed. I don't know if you guys watched it. He was up. also in 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 the corn music video. I can't remember which one. Good, 
cheese and crackers too, because I love me damn crackers. Let me get you. So, um. Oh my god! How dare you! There we go. I should have smacked them in the face and then revived you. That would have made sense. Nice, nice job. And I love my RPG. But I need micro ammo. Unfortunately, there ain't no micros to be seen. Damn it, Jin, stop burping. There we go. I've been running over here now. Everyone's still alive? Alright, a siege. Neato. <laughs> Watch it. You, you're... <laughs> and get your ammo back in the process. <laughs> nice job, guys. <laughs> It's not over yet. Mm. I know, I know you guys like to clip them. It's all good. Mm. Well, Austin, you could save your ammo by jumping up a clip too. I know, but you know, I don't, I don't choose the shitty Gami way. Mm. I don't and... want to fulfill my ammo. Like, it's not, it's not a bad method, don't get me wrong, it's just, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe I want to break my ties with Shinigami, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, thank you! Alright, let's not get surrounded again, boys. Let's, let's start covering all sides like we did last time. Cover all sides. You know, most of them will come from the east. I would assume that way, because the thing is, um, from my experience, this way's the east, from my experience on this map. Yeah. In the multiplayer side, for some, re for some reason or that, most of the time, the, vil the heroes will spawn on the western side of the map. Or the villains will spawn on the um, tower. I'm taking this. I am ready for Christmas to be over so I can get paid. Oh yeah? Oh, yeah? For working a lot. <laughs> I mean, we got like eight extra shifts, so. Alright, we got a Harbinger dude right there, so I might want to watch out for him. <laughs> Alright, we got a guy coming in from behind. Nice job, guys. We cleared that. Y'all, nice clutch. I got wounded nice at the end. Good stuff. I want to go and get this harbinger here. I might, I might end up needing it. That's the spirit super. Commit suicide and get your ammo back. <laughs> Myself, thank you. Bro, I feels like I'm playing Uncharted 1 again. I'm using, I'm Roman, and I'm using the M4 and the Argwall 40. Hmm. I love Uncharted 1 so much. Long story short, I platinumed the game, by the way. A long time ago. Even though it was the toughest of the Uncharted's. The original, exactly. The original version, Ventura, a lot of people complained about the clunky jet ski controls, but in the PS4 remaster, it's a lot better. It's still oh, yeah? very tough towards the end, regardless of which version, right? But the controls they fixed. Don't know how, but no. they did. Dude, Navarro was a bitch on, on crushing. Yeah, see, ain't gonna but, lie to you. But no, just on light. On light? Dude, I'm laughing, Austin. On light, he's actually easy. What? Get the fuck out of here. No, 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 I'm being serious. I'm not joking. No, bro. Dude, 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 you're talking to a veteran. Okay, I platinum the game. On light to me, he's easy. 
cool. Yeah. No, he no, was man, a bit man. of a pain. Well, well the thing but is, though, just... the thing is, just like Killzone 2. Now that I think about Venture, I'll rephrase that. Getting to him was tough. The boss okay. fight itself. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? but, but Austin, wait until you fight him on crushing. Then you're going to complain. No, 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 no. For, for me, the toughest part was getting to him. Then again, then again, then again, it seems like, that, seems like that's the toughest part in a lot of these boss fight, fights in these, recent, these more recent games over the last decade. The end boss itself, if you know what you're doing, ain't, all, ain't too bad, except on the hardest difficulties. It's the getting there. Like, remember Killzone 2, where you had those hundreds of dudes there's hundreds of hell gas to get to with LMGs and all sorts of stuff. Radic himself. Yeah, if, if you stayed in if you stayed in one spot, the hell gas would would reinforce. I remember that. Yep. The the, the, hell, yeah. the hell gas. Colonel Radic himself wasn't hard. It was just, it just took time, in my honest opinion. Yeah, no, on the leak he was mixed, but you get my point. On the lighter difficulties, all you had to do, he just took time to defeat. That's all. <laughs> but that's why they gave you what that's why the trophy gave you 20 minutes right because you could beat him within 20 minutes if you played your cards right you really could I, I did I think my record was like 11 minutes Ventura oh yeah 11 minutes to defeat Radic yeah something like that not according bad to, according to the killzone stats it was 11 minutes yeah I hear him I hear I hear him super there we go appreciate that Ventura Nothing to it. RPG's dead. He's not the only one, so I'm gonna watch out here. There we go. Challenge is done. Warlord, the hard part is over. Hmm. That was more like an appetizer. <laughs> yeah, no. I know. I'm just saying, though. You know, there was said. And it's with those other games in in this. Oh, what do you mean? Got killed the boss with one hit. Go ahead, lad. I'll find you. It's it's like glitches here and there. Most of those glitches have been patched, though. Most of them. Even though this game is kind of a buggy game as it is. What the hell happened to Jin? No! Goodness. Oh, thank God he's back. When certain cover emanations, they won't shoot. For some reason, don't ask me why. It's just that's just the way the game is. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the El Dorado dude. So. But yeah, yeah. Certain certain cover emanations. It's like some weird vaulting thing, right? Where when you vault over like to c kill somebody from cover, it will just like glitch out. I have I've had it happen to me on the multiplayer side. Don't feel bad. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying though. I'm just saying it happens. Can I believe Meryl married Occuba from Metal Gear 4? I'm like, are you serious? Meryl, the redhead girl from, from Metal Gear 4, married Occuba. I hear. Why would you marry a clumsy guy that poops on himself? Occuba, a uh, prey to who? That guy. <laughs> That one. Gotcha. Right, he used to be Harbinger. one of Harbinger the right one of the terrorist soldiers in Metal Gear One, and then he made his appearance on Metal Gear Four. Mm. But if you don't remember who Akiba is, just play Metal Gear Four again, so that way you know what I'm talking about. Uh, 
Oh, Commander, I gotta go. Oh, fuck you, boo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe women have strange tastes. I'm not saying this to make fun of them. Why would you marry a clumsy guy, lady? Why? Mm, um, he ate something that was very spicy, and it gave him diarrhea because it had like a lot of toppings, and that's why they call him Occupy because he always has to use the bathroom. <laughs> Oh yeah, occupy. I gotta occupy the bathroom, right, right. <laughs> I gotcha. Oh yes! <laughs> that happened too. Oh, here, now. <laughs> oh my god, he's the most annoyingest character in Metal Gear, I swear. Look, Commander, shut up! Get out of the way! I gotta go get out of the way, Occupy! Occupy, start praying! Pray to who? <laughs> Oh my god. I like how he panics yeah. too. <laughs> Akiba, if you need a shit, just go over there. Go over where? There! But you're gonna be staring at me. I will turn my back on the other side! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Akiba. <laughs> no, but you should hear the dialogue. Boy, he's the most clumsiest character, I swear, man. Okay. How the hell did you ever survive 10 years? <laughs> I like that part too. Mm, good deal. I got it for 60 because I bought it new. You're lucky, you actually got it, you actually saved, you actually saved 50, 55 dollars, you saved 55 bucks, that's pretty smart. Mm, aren't we all? So Austin, you know how annoying Akiba is? No, of course not. I don't watch the anime or whatever y'all are talking about. It's Metal Gear, not anime. Metal Gear, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna assume. But no, but no, but no, I never played Metal Gear, remember? <laughs> oh my god, this guy shred me. I need help. I crashed his too. Nope, 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 nope. Let, let go of Super, you bastard. If you, if you stand on that pillar, he won't be able to grab you. Remind me again why exactly. Yeah, but that, but you know, that's gonna—that's kind of a mute point. There we go. Okay, that's, the that's gonna come for us. Remember? Oh yeah. No. Jesus Christ! I don't even want to go over there. Yeah, all right. We'll eventually get. We'll eventually get you, buddy. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go around to revive um. Super, because there's too many deadbeats over there. Oh, Remember the name of that truck? Well, let me revive my friend! Oh. Gosh, he's spamming statues like crazy. Oh, stop. Uh. oh, try calling towards me, if anything. It's all good, man. We got you. There we go, that's my last stone though. <sighs> oh my god, my leg fell asleep. Super, you gotta get the hell out of there, man. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, keep that, reviving that's, you that's, over that's, there. That's, that's one. That's one thing that you can't really do in these boss battles. You can't necessarily camp. 
Yeah, but you're staying in the same region, though. You gotta be running around the map. That's that's one thing. It's not his fault, Austin. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just starting it out there. Like, I know what, I know what you're saying. Oh God, I'm wounded. Remember what I told you, Austin. Don't underestimate him. I'm not. He's not one of them. Don't uh, don't think of him as those campers from Call of Duty. What's wrong with you, Austin? <laughs> oh, really? That stupid El Dorado. Oh, I got harbingered. Just use the box. Use the nearest box. There's a box mm. over there. You'll find it. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> I already took care of the Harbinger for you. Yeah, appreciate that. It's an RPG too, but I don't really want to, you know, I can't pick it up anyway. <laughs> Troy yeah, Baker yeah, is a good actor, good. bro. He's That's he's gonna... been in Death Stranding. He's been in what else? He's been in Final Fantasy Thirteen. He's also been in Uncharted. Jesus Christ, he's been in so many games. You don't know who Troy Baker is? Oh my God, you got out, dude. No, no, that's Norman Reedus. <laughs> He, Troy Baker played Joel from Last of Us and Uncharted Sam in this game. Yeah, that, that's that's Troy Baker. He's one of the most notable actors of the 2010s. He also played Revolver Ocelot and Metal Gear Solid V, The Fence of Pain. Come on, man. Uh, I gotta concentrate. Oh, man. You're to the chest? Alright, boys, I'm down to 217 for some reason. That's because I bought two stones. I didn't think I'd be down that low. Mm. So if we're gonna kill him, we gotta do it now. Yeah, I also got 15,000, so. Yeah, I, got, I still got and more paper. I'm down, I'm down. Super, try to help me. Try to help me. Try to help me. Alright, alright, thank you. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. I'll make it worth your while. <laughs> I know, I know. Mm. How do I sound like Seth Green? I don't really sound like Seth Green. How does he sound like that? <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, he plays Seth Green is a robot. He he's a the producer of Robot Chicken, and he played Chris on Family Guy. Played Chris Griffin. Yeah, we have to talk about Seth Green. Yep, that's Seth, that's Seth Green. Yeah. We're not very functional when when we're high. <laughs> yeah, said Seth Green? You said Seth Green initially, but never mind. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Don't feel bad, man. I don't know. I don't know most of my people either. Don't feel mm. bad. I barely know most of these games that Ventura be talking about. I barely know the character mm. anything. I've never played Horizon. <laughs> I'm only 33. I'm, Give me I'm a, a break. Pro, I'm a picky. I'm a, I mean, I'm a picky ass gamer. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. To you. I don't. I don't be playing your RPGs and stuff like Ventura and Gen do. I don't mm. be playing those. I'm more of your so called casual gamer. I be playing the shooters. I play. Why are you? Why are you in the dumpster? Games. No, I think we should say we should stay. We're not very functional when we're high. <laughs> like I said, I don't. I don't even get most of the first references. I'm gonna get straight up with you, dude. I'm quoting Pineapple Express, Austin. 
which I've never even watched, believe it or not. We've already had this conversation. I like them shaken, not stirred, but sometimes stirred. Oh, boys, we gotta defeat crap. Mm. You know, we just gotta finish it, though. Lenny! I got him. I got him. Don't. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Took a while oh, to get there, goodness. but we did it. Nice. I got. Oh my God. I got a level four P ninety. Nice. If you please, I'm a bit windy after that one. Yeah. Um, nice. You got you got an 8K. Nice. So you guys want to go for lights here in a minute or two? Sounds good, Jin. Do you want to go for light? All right. So uh, me right he and Super and Austin are gonna go for light then. I know, but like, um, it's Austin likes to do things out of calm perspective, but. If we finish light, do you want to go for an encore on hard? Uh, and to be to be to be fair, what we normally do is we'll start with hard. That way, if we have a that way, if we have more difficulty than normal, we can we have at least can you know we have at least two hours to get it done right. And then if there's time to spare, we'll do a light and then maybe and then a, usually a moderate. That's just the way we've always done it. At least since Arena came out, anyway. Since Arena's the better two minutes. Anyway, boys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get me a, some, something to drink. Oh, crap, Austin. You had to kill the mood. No, no. Gen wait, January, January, February, March, April, May. It comes out in May because, no, they pushed back the release date. And there was a news article I found out, and it got delayed. I even look at the PlayStation Store. It comes out in... They got to update their, their shit, and I don't go to GameStop anymore because the employee was a dick to me. Are hey, you going to pay for CD insurance? No, why would I? Hey, no, I'm not joking. He was a dick to me. <laughs> the, yeah, why would I? Need, why I'm paying sixty bucks for Metal Gear Four? Calm down, lady. Calm down. And then she's like, "Are oh, you not gonna pay for Disney insurance? Of course not." I'm like, "Why the hell you gotta be mean to me? I bought. I paid sixty bucks. Jesus Christ, man." Alright, guys, I'm back. No, 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 dude, 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 she, she was a cute white girl. I ain't gonna lie to you, because I've been for cute white girls. But come on, bro, you got mad at me because I said no to disc insurance. I'm not gonna pay 50 bucks for disc insurance. Jesus. Dang, your max rank, impressive. <laughs> Villains again, nice. Yeah, man, I just, I just don't go to GameStop anymore because, dude, I ran into like a couple of mean employees. I'm not gonna lie to you. I pay sixty bucks for a game. Oh, is the PS4 gonna go well? Who oh, came over here to ask me questions? I'm like, what the fuck's your problem? Parka. Dude, superhero, your GameStop is nice to you. I'm fucking jealous. <laughs> you? No, no, no. Now I go shopping at Best Buy to buy my games because I don't fucking trust GameStop anymore. Well, my GameStop. Nice Savage Starlight Wraith, by the way. My god, you're from the future, Super. 
How do holograms look in the future? I'm prepared to agree with that intelligence. <laughs> I'm cleaning this up. Oh my god, you think I'm the actor because I sound I do I do sound like Seth Rogen, do I? <laughs> hey super, if you, hey super, if you look at if you look at my character, watch this. Hmm. Let's see here, watch this. I'm shooting in the air. You see how I'm shooting while I'm jumping? That's weapon. That's weapons expert. That's the weapons expert booster. The ranked tryhards and players they use it. They use it with the HS. It's it's kind of it's it's um what you call it? My one pet peeve about multi people in multiplayer: people who use that the broken booster. And yes, the booster is broken for reasons uh, that you probably find on your own. I think we should hide. But the why? Because I'm in a dumpster already. We're not very functional when we're high. <laughs> I love that part, man. <laughs> and he was in. Oh, yeah, the weapons are... It's, Sorry, it's, Austin. It's, it's discouraged to use it in team deathmatch. Because, come on. Come on. And can, since we're live streaming, I, I we're, we don't promote getting high, by the way. <laughs> Exactly, Jen. <laughs> personally, personally, I don't. I'm. I'm not really caring too much about it. People want to do. Pe people can do whatever they want in their lives as long as they're not hurting me. Mm. It's people's lives. No, they but can choose, they can choose whatever they want to do. No, but like, I'm not a marijuana user, but they're actually cool people, I ain't gonna lie to you. Well, okay. It depends. To be fair, it depends. I, I know people. Yeah, it actually cool. it actually depends. That's true, by the way. And, spoiler warning, Elliot is a comic book geek, believe it or not. She loves that Sabbath Starlight, and dude, I I actually got the trophy where you collect all the comic books for Elliot. Yes, because that's how much I love Elliot, and even though she's unfortunately a lesbian, I love her like she was my own daughter. Yes! Elliot, the little girl! Okay, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Done and done. Ready for new orders. Hmm. Oh, because Joel's daughter died. Sarah, that, 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 that was kind of sad. Joel, why did your daughter had to die? <laughs> look, no, no, you want to know why you cry? Because imagine if it was your daughter. Like, that's how intense it is, you know? <laughs> I've never heard it like that. Okay, I paid for her, bruh, bruh. I'm sorry, but that sounded so wrong, bruh. Oh bruh, you man, just, you super just knows how to crack a you, joke. You, you just described a prostitute, bruh. I'm sorry, you just described a prostitute. I paid for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is the best know, live stream ever. <laughs> I, I know what super, 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 I know what you mean. I know what you mean, but that was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I have no problem with it. Like, you should see my character in Red Dead. She's a prostitute, too. She's a prostitute. My character in Red Dead. Sophia, yeah. Sophia, the, the hooker, and... Her uncle is Crips. I don't know why, Austin. Why is her uncle Crips? <laughs> yeah. Well, my female character is a legendary outlaw, by the way. Well, she's basically inspired by by Black Belly, Black Bella, the legendary. But I don't want to go into the details because that's another spoiler. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm like, but that, that, that that was a good joke. That was a good joke. But I know, I know what you mean, man. I feel, I, I feel the same way about the Uncharted characters. 
you know? You grow and you live you live with them throughout the entire series, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say cry. Like, I'm kind of a tough guy person. You don't really see me cry about anything in the game unless it's like really rare. Yeah, not gonna lie, you probably are right. You probably are right on that one. I, I'll give that one to you, dog. I've had my moments where I legit just get angry about a loss or whatever, but yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> But I never had a female assistant manager getting mad at me over CD insurance. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah, like, cause she... no, I think she was the assistant manager. But I'm like, the and like, I still remember. I can't believe I still remember that day, bro. I pre-ordered Metal Gear Solid Five: The Fans of Pain. I'm like, hey, I got my pre-order here. Uh, she's like, oh, here you go. Do you want CD insurance? I told her. You know how much is it? She's this fifty bucks. I'm like, oh, forget it. And then she's like, of course not. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with you, lady? I'm taking this. <laughs> hmm. I know she needs bread, but dude, I just paid sixty bucks for a game. Why are you making me pay like fifty bucks for CD insurance? Jesus Christ. For CD insurance, I know. <laughs> Just in exactly, right. Jen. Yeah, you're lagging pretty bad because because on my screen your wraith is going all over the place. Yeah, a little bit. And you have the robot I am lagging type of beat tone. A little bit. No, I can hear him just fine, but it's yeah, kind of weird that his con Yeah. Like, every now and then, every once in a while, he'll have the robot lag, as I like to call it. But it's, it's more so it's showing in game than anything, where his character's legit scooting all over the screen. Yeah, at one point, I even saw his Wraith teleport. I've been running over here now. Yeah. Everyone's still alive? Yeah. We're done for now. Oh, well. Yeah. I wish there was a world where we didn't have this lag. Yeah, no. N n try playing Call of Duty with lag. It is the absolute worst. Oh, I remember playing Call of Duty on lag. Back when I, back when I was playing on my PS3. Whoever she is, she sounds competent. <laughs> I know it's COD and you can't really take it serious, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Counter Strike. Fire I played a hole. little bit of Counter Strike, but eh. My my, my favorite counter terrorism game was exactly Jen. <laughs> terrorists, which my favorite my favorite counter terrorism game was Rainbow Six Locked It. Well, no, 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 I can't even see Locked Up. Locked Down for a Rainbow game was pretty bad, but my favorite one was Vegas Rainbow Six Vegas Two. I want to play a siphon filter. I missed that game. I never played two, unfortunately. I only played part one. I heard. I heard a rumor that Sony's gonna try to. It's Sony or somebody. They're they're legit trying to own. Um, they're trying to get Ubisoft to own. Um, re revi revise the Splinter Cell franchise. That's what I heard. Personally, Ubisoft, they've gone down the toilet in the last decade. Believe it or not, I hate, Rain I hate Rainbow Siege. Because they took they took basically all the story elements out of it. They took they they took its origins out and all it is is a all it is is another esports shooter. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, you know it's bad when even COD, as crappy as it is now, has a better...
the better so-called story in most of their games than than Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six is origins. It used to be about a basically its premise was basically being in the counterterrorism squad where it was different people with different nationalities and backgrounds and everybody had to overcome their their ethnical and what's it called? Difference I swear every time you terror. say it, it reminds me of, of Siren Blood Curse. I don't know why. But Vegas, but, but, but to be fair though, Vegas 2 had the best multiplayer ever of the Rainbow games. It was awesome. RPG, though? Hideo Kojima say, do you like it? I don't know, I don't know how. I cannot believe that, um, Jin Kun just there chilling. That's what she said. Do <laughs> oh, we're gonna do a siege? I think you accidentally started the siege, but it's fine. Uh, I think. Yeah, as soon as you as soon as you walk into this area, of the siege automatically starts. That's me and Ventura. We try to wait on each other. Mm. We're getting there, but it's all good. It's okay. It's all good. Part. Yeah. On light, on light. As long as you're a decent rank, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I heard that the video game Time Shift had a bad review. Is is that is the game really that bad? Time Shift? Never heard of Time Shift. All I heard of Time Splitters. Super bad. Have you ever heard of the Time Splitters franchise? Not super bad. Super superhero. My bad. I got you mixed up with somebody else. Have you ever heard of the Time Splitters series? Time Splitters was made by the same people who made um, GoldenEye, GoldenEye 07, free radical design. It's basically just it's, it was basically this wacky shooter in the mid two thousand trilogy in the mid two thousands. We're insisted on time travel, right? And you basically had to go to different time players, grab the crystals, and whatnot. Two and three had a bit of extra story element to it. Basically, we were stopping this race of aliens called the Time Splitters that wanted to screw up time, dominate the world, yada yada yada. Might be your lag. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, white plug. Are you getting like a little? Are you getting like a little icon that's like showing a plug every now and then? Because, because this game, it'll do that. If you're lagging, or if the server's laggy, it'll show, it'll keep... Okay. That we call it, we call it white plug. We call it white plug, you're on Uncharted. That's what I said, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's mirrored, but yeah, I can do. But basically, you'll get that every, whenever, every we get that every now and then if your game's lagging. Mm. Like, the dumbest I guess, thing. I, I guess as long as you only disconnect it, I guess it's fine. It. That's a, that's you know totally up to you. Never mind. Oh. Dang. 
they really had Where to Where the hell is that they, last they, freaking treasure? Jesus. They really had to give us a mirror treasure, didn't they? Exactly. At least, at least this ain't on the hard difficulty. Found them. Did it? Found, Where's the was, last yep. one? They always up here in this little prison tower. Oh, oh no wonder. Hydra wave. This one will be fun. Well and again, back to it. Time splitters was basically this. Think of it, and to put it in perspective, think of it as comedic Call of Duty, where each level you had different tropes, right? Different cliches. You had your typical zombie level, haunted house level. You had your typical futuristic level with robots. You had your pit typical spy James Bond style level. All sorts of mad stuff. Yeah, time splitters. Yeah, time splitters is basically comedic Call of Duty, and you, you know. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was a really good series, man. It was awesome. I loved it. It was my childhood. Sorry guys, I might want to get the hell out of here. Let's not get surrounded. That's the key to a hydro wave is to stay on the move. That was fast. Yeah, I know, right? Man, we cleaned them right up. All right, so you guys want to go for a moderate and see how we do? I, I think Super wants to go for a, for an encore on that hard difficulty because he was flapping his gums about it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we, I don't know if we have time though. That's the thing. That's why I was suggesting a moderate. Because we'll have just no time for moderate. I don't know if we have time for another hard. Alright, then we'll just do moderate then. Yep. Ugh. Wow, 15 minutes. This is Pequod. See, I told you it went by fast. Yeah. <laughs> this is Pequod on station at LZ. I miss Pequod. He was my uh, helicopter driver on Metal Gear 5, The Phantom Pain. Peacock! <laughs> I don't know, but I'm not, I'm not really functional when I'm high, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm actually making another movie where kids are going to be in a radar movie, but I'm going to tell them... You cannot see your radar movie. Why not? Because there's nudity. Adults are having sex. <laughs> oh, it is? <laughs> Damn. I haven't seen that movie, but dude. <laughs> Villains, to wrap it up. Awesome. Alright. I'll be a soft to wrap it up. You're not stepping to a river. Do you mean you don't need my old approval? Old. You're an attractive older bitch. I, ain't... Oh, I can't believe I said attractive older bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, to be fair, Marlo is a cult leader, Ventura. <laughs> She's a cult leader. That's Marlo. It... You no, know, Marlo. Marlo's yeah, it's apocalypse. Marlo, it's a skin for her. I'm a sob, the villain from the Lost Legacy. 
Yeah. Yep. I trust we can begin this operation now, or shall we check some more? Yeah. Metal Gear. My favorite Marlo costume, if you ask me, is her trench coat. That's just me. It's mine. I like her trench coat. Are you telling me she looks like the Screaming Raven from Metal Gear? That outfit ain't bad either. We are in your capable hands. Now. Oh, you mean that female boss, the fe the original female big boss, Wyavoda. Her code name is the Joy. That's what they call her. You didn't pay attention to 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 the Codex. I always pay attention to the Codex. Oh, I was about to say. No, I platinum the game, so of course. <laughs> yeah, I, I played I played the, the PS2 version and, and the PlayStation 3 remastered version, so yeah, of course I'm gonna know a lot about the game. Hey Jin, I'm kind of curious. Do I really do sound like Seth Rogen? I have fought tougher dogs than these fools. Ah, a little bit. <laughs> I super watch this. Super, you I lie am to me. Indian Highlander. Cause Jin said I sound like him a little bit. Ventura, every time super, every time, every time Ventura sees Asav doing this taunt, he claims I'm from India, Highlander. <laughs> Cause you're ripping off the movie, I swear to god. Flash! Ah, defender of the universe! And to be fair, ever... Sov is Indian, so... Did they ever make a comic book of that movie, Flesh Gordon? Oh, it's Headshot and Melee, okay. Good thing I got my FAO. Yeah, did they ever made a comic book movie? Did they ever made a comic book of Flesh Gordon? Cause I'm kinda... I just, because I know it sounds familiar. Oh, oh root. Nice. <laughs> In the words of Hacker, impressive! I was playing Kills on one just the other day! No way. What a yeah, coincidence. Was, yeah, to be fair, but sure, what I was trying to do is I was trying to replay. You, you remember the second, the hardest. You remember the second, the last level before the Adam's boss fight, right? Yeah, where I remember. Each, where each character has a different path. I was doing all four of the paths on that second, the last level, and it was fun. I had a hard time with Luger, but that's because, that's because there was a certain part of it that kept. I kept on having this mind. Do you remember that one ladder just before the last section of her level? That was somewhat glitchy at times. Mm -hmm. After you crawled out. Yeah, I was having a little bit of trouble with that. But I, I got past it, thank God. Well, it's not hard. You just have to know the, the map layout. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't. It ain't. And then, and then even then, and then, and then also I realized I was kind of doing something wrong, rushing it a little bit too much. So there, there was that too. Basically, I have to wait for her to. For, Basically, after she crawls from under the vent, I have to wait for her to fully stand herself up, and then I can climb the ladder. But it still kind of is buggy at times, though. It's just, it's just I gotta remember. Well, I don't exactly. Know, I, have, I, have, I, don't, I beat all four. I beat all four of the characters second to last path, and, th and then with Templar, with Luger, I did end up beating the boss fight with Adams. Yeah, but Austin, are, are you planning on platinumizing kills on one? I did platinum kills on one, remember? Oh, you, oh, you did. Of, of course. Yeah. You also platinum mercenaries. Yep. But that's that's because all you had to do is just do all the common sense trophies, plus beat Adams with each character from their chapter onwards, and of course play on the three hard difficulties. Nothing to it. It just it just takes time. With nothing else. And honestly, hard is really, for me, for the most part, hard is only really hard on the second to last level. The second to last chapter. With the snow and all. 
at the um, weather station. And then, sure, you remember, you remember that, you remember that weather station before Adam, the final chapter, right? Where if I you remember. died, you ha you would have to start all the way back on top of the weather station. Yeah, because the checkpoints were just narrow. I hated yeah. that shit. <laughs> yeah, but it was just part of the game back then. You just had to adapt and overcome. Especially that one dude at the very end of that level with the little explosive canyon. Do you remember him? What was it? The Siska Squad Canyon, I think it was. I was on the wiki just the other day, reading the gun mm. weapons and stuff. It's called the Siska Squad P and V3 Siska Squad Canyon. That's a funny name for a cannon, Siska. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was basically it was basically the Hellgas's version of the minigun, almost. The closest mm. thing Hellgas had to the chain gun, except it had explosive barrels in it. Oh yeah, that was good times. Yep. It had this weird oh, no. arc, almost. There was also, also... that. Um, you remember the Hellgas's version of the missile launcher that had that looked like a rectangle or whatever it was. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it was the B. Oh, what was it? The BN three oh six Hadra. That's what it was called. It's called the Hadra missile launcher. But yeah, the, the I mean, Killzone one had some interesting weapons for sure. I do. I missed that squad can. That squad can was really good. But was massively overpowered, and then obviously he can forget. He can't forget Rico's chain gun. <laughs> the only thing I hate about Rico's chain gun, though, was that only Rico could have multiple missiles, while in multiplayer you could only have one missile if you had the chain gun. No, oh, but Rico's supposed to be a tank. That's why they. That's why they did that. Yeah, I know. I know, but it still would have been nice had you been able to have at least one extra missile in the multiplayer. With the with the minigun. Oh, Good to have a zone to ask for a change. Tell me, Nadine. Melee only. <laughs> I also like how the hell guys died around like, oh, oh, we need support. Like I miss those I'll days. Say, I'll, I'll, yeah, I know, right? I'll say I'll say my fa two favorite groups of hell guys in that game. The elites. And they're midget-sized squad leaders. Ventura, and by the way, I know you remember. It's the, it was you remember those Hellgas that were smaller than the other Hellgas, but that they were right alongside the elites. Those oh, you the, mean those skinny, those skinny dudes? Yeah, the, the the little midgets. They're not midgets. Oh my god, yes, Austin, that's yes, insulting. They, they was midgets. It's they're the not Hellgas, midgets. Oh my, my dude. Venture, I have a theory though for those little guys. I have a theory. Oh my god, Austin. I have a theory, hear me out. You remember how the you remember how the miners were slightly smaller than everybody else in Killzone 2? They were skinny short men. They're not that doesn't mean that doesn't make them midgets. Well who knows, maybe in the Hellgas universe they are. But Oh my god, Austin, you have a funny way of winking things. But my point is my point is let me hear me out. What if, what if those, a lot of those, a lot of the squad leaders were miners, just deployed the Vecta? Because you remember how the miners in two were slightly smaller than everybody else? They were shorter, but they were not small, small. But you, you get my point, though. They were shorter than I, everybody else. I get your point, but they're not midgets. You're confusing midgets to, to, to shorter people. Well, to be, well, the thing is, let's see, the thing is, we don't know their exact height. Is that all? Except that then they're don't call them midgets if you foot. don't know their exact height. Oh my god, Austin. I just call them midgets just to rub it in. Okay? I do it just, uh, to, rub, I do it just to rub it in. The biggest face palm of the day. <laughs> and, besi and besides Ventura, low-key, I thought they was adorable. Yet they're so violent. Hmm. I swear to God, if we were in a desert island, I would just leave Austin stranded and just be like why, why, super why just, weak. Why? Just because, just because I'm hating on the the, the little squad leaders? That yes. Wow. <laughs> like what was it? What was it, Mature? I'll never forget the one squad leader who, in Templar's level, you remember? You remember Templar's level, right? Where he's where the, the elite is questioned to his squad leader, sir. We don't have enough space to. to you really <laughs> think a few humans and a half breed are gonna question the will of Vasari? 
Mm. And I'm like, I'm like, dang, dang, dude, you must be for for uh for a squad leader, you must be you must be really. And then the other one was another one I'll never forget. And the swamp level, right? What was it? It was that one Misty Waters chapter. Yeah, we remember the swamp level. It felt like Vietnam, but I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, a little bit. And it was probably one of the more tougher levels in the game. I wouldn't say the toughest. The toughest was definitely the mountains. But, mm. basically, it was like, basically, I'm glad, I'm glad we're not, I'm glad I'm not in the air cavalry. These guys keep on crashing far too often. When he, when he first spawned in, you hear of that guy. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> And then, of course, these guys, they would have either the, um, they would either have the machine pistols, or the, um, they would either have the little pist hell gas pistols, or the machine guns, like the elites. Yeah, and I remember that the acting was so cartoony, but yeah. either way, it was PS2 back then. Yeah, and the thing, the thing is, too, we gotta give it to Gorilla. We didn't think the franchise would last beyond the first game. Originally, if I'm correct, they legit was gonna do a one and done for the series, and it's like obviously the ending. They they had to do a second game, which I'm glad they did a second game, or else we would have not had the best multiplayer of all time. Yeah, and I remember the kills on two still and three had the they still had the cartoony voice. I'm gonna cut you up to pieces, you ISA scum. Those were the shock troopers. I'm like Jesus Christ. They still did the cartoony voice. <laughs> we'll always have that. Let's see here. A lot, even today, Ventura. You, you remember how when I first met you guys, we used to always have the debates over whether the shock troopers are female or not. Oh, the, the we, 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 me and Jen will argue to you about that. Yeah, I remember. I remember I, yeah, I, I remember those days. But it was like, <laughs> I, I personally, I personally don't really even care about that anymore, like I did back then. Oh my God, but, bro! Me like, and Jen is like, we literally got mad at you. <laughs> Uh, Part of me uh, will see. still say they're females, but it's like, uh, but I did re I did do my research. After years of speculation, the wiki, the kills on wiki, finally classified them as male. You call, dude. You call the hell gas, dude. I don't know why. There's something wrong with you, Austin. You call the freaking assault troopers the one that they use those little um, armor cloak things. You call hey. them robots. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you talking about the um? That, that was somebody else. That wasn't me. Yes, they have the appearance of robots, but they're not actually robots. That was somebody else. Even Are you sure it was somebody else? Yeah, even though they do have the face of robots, that was somebody else. The, the, the weak, for some reason, though, a lot of the fans, though, do call them robots, but even I know they're not robots. They just have the face of one. But under I was their, about to say. But under there, though, bro, they're actually hell gas. Duh. Like everybody else. Yeah. And then the thing is, if they wasn't robots, in my honest opinion, would what, what, what have they been sure to think about? If they was robots, they would have either changed or not. They would have changed dramatically from Shadow in Shadowfall. You know what I mean? If they was robots, since the Hellgas did, for the most part, undergo a bit of a change in look and stuff. Outside and speaking of, the red of robots, is that Nathan Drake's plane over there? Nathan Drake's? Wow. No, 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 no. Look, look, look at the plane where I'm at. Like, is that yeah, Nathan Drake's plane? Yeah, now that I think about it, probably. I've got nothing but I just now noticed that, too. But my point is the hell. Like, yeah, I knew that they weren't robots. They, they, even though they do have the what I call outskirtish face of of one. Okay. But but no, but Venture, you have to admit one. You remember those assault soldiers from the first game that looked like, that looked like Boba Fett. Mhm. Mm yeah, those those guys are loved too, even though they were super overpowered. I, I, re I remember those guys. I, hey, I remember I, when. Yeah. When, when, I remember when, when when you went to like the last level when you had to kill Adams. Yeah. Dude, those superistic futuristic suits were like very powerful. I'm like, I don't know how the fuck they did that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, those were the bodyguards. The bodyguards were just elites in covered suits. That's all they were. They had, they had, 
Gorilla, the Gorilla games didn't really, to be, to be fair, I got a nag on Gorilla just a little bit, even though it was PS2 times. They could have at least made them assault soldiers with, like, black clothing or something. I think that would have been a cool, cooler idea for Bodyguard, you know what I mean? Exactly. No, but dude, they, they, the, the way their outfit looks, it looks kind of ridiculous, but interesting. I ain't gonna because, lie to you. Because, Super because, crawl over because, here, man. Because, because all the, like, again, all the art is just elites in black clothing. In, like, the black suits. Exactly. And honestly, that, that's, that's not even all that creative. Even though, to be fair, to be fair, I love the base commanders to death, but they're just, they're just clones of Hacka in, like, exquisite suits. Yeah, why, why is it that they always copy and paste? I, I never understand that. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, yeah, they did they did that a bunch. Yeah, we got to a game up, boys, because we're like... We've only killed like one target thus far. Roger that! Reload! Oh, I miss playing Motor Gear Online. Super is going so much. Yeah, the hell gas and kills on one were very interesting. And then Ventura, another thing. Remember the bounty hunter at the end of the swamp? Oh, what did he die? The bounty hunter. Um, let's see. He was that one weird-looking dude. We don't even know if he was actually hell gas or not, even though his skin looked very hell gasty. Mm. Some was he in Liberation? Because I don't even remember. Some say, some say he was in, um... According to the wiki, some people will say he's a regular Hellgast, and some people say he's from another colony. Another planet of some sort. Oh my god, I'm wounded. I got gotcha. you. Oh uh, no. Alright. No. Good. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Tom Cruise. Enough tears. Get up. Hmm, Televega Knights. Hmm, don't worry, Super. I'm gonna revive you, don't worry, bro. Do you remember the name of that truck? <laughs> there we go. That was a serviceable challenge. Shall we move hmm. on? What does invigorating mean? Good. Uh, I think that's it... mine. Got it. Because I don't speak British, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> invigorates, bro. That's an American term. I've heard it before, but I can't come an exact definition. Hmm. That one. No, 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 that was fun. That was that. That was fun or worthy. Yeah, Jen's right. Yep. Yeah, we got we're timed, so we gotta do this do this pretty quick. Oh boy, I hate time consuming garbage. Yeah, really? No, time right. consuming? Yeah no. Dude do 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 Oh shit. Oh my god, that grenade almost got me. Stop throwing grenades! Yeah, I know, right? Crazy. You guys, this ain't this ain't no Michael Bay film. Directed by Michael Bay, Uncharted. <laughs> by the way, I do think the so-called Uncharted movie, I do think it's gonna fail as a video game movie. Oh no! Armored hate Hunter say, got me. I hate saying it. It's just it's not looking too good for the Uncharted movie. People are people are legit just up in arms. I heard Mark Wahlberg or whatever his name is supposed to be a so-called younger Sully. But, eh, that's honestly the least of the movie's problems. Right. No, no, they had to get a guy that sounds like Sully. That would have made sense for the movie. 
honestly, if the, if the movie, if the directors didn't had any, if the directors weren't so busy fighting, the movie would have came out at least around the time of Uncharted 4. Just saying. They should make a Metal Gear movie. That would have been epic, but Konami's being a bitch, so that ain't gonna happen. I don't, I don't even want, like, honestly, at this point, I don't even want an Uncharted movie. They're just gonna ruin it anyway. Oh, the two minute, oh, World to be Lord. fair, I know I'm, I know I'm going off topic. The two minute movie with Angelina J Jolene was actually pretty decent. Not the best, but pretty good. The one with, with, with the British actress, I haven't seen that one, so I cannot judge it. Oh, this guy. Okay, so Jin knows about the the newer the newer Tomb Raider movie. Jin says it was an okay movie, but I think I don't think Jin wants to talk too much because Jin always always likes to wink things. I don't know why. Um, Jin's like that's a decent movie, so I'm not gonna give you details. You just have to watch it yourself. That's how Jin is. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie. I think Jin saw it. I don't hear. Mm. Not really a movie person, so I haven't seen too many movies. Not really. I didn't remember we Peter Griffin funny story. Anymore. He got tr he got injected with something that made him sound like Seth Rogen. I'm gonna lie, that's a funny skit. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh. Crap. That's what they all say. You got the. That's what. That's what she says. Plague from Jin Kun. He likes to say that a lot, by the way. <laughs> uh, that is true. Oh, by the way, um, Jin, my sister told you the sword art, sword, sword art online. I, she said something about it being available on Steam, and you get like a good deal out of it. I don't know. I think that's what she 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 told me. Oh, a lot of people played sword art online on the Vita. Believe me. They do. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, they do. Mine. Yep, they do. At least they did back in the heyday the Vita. Like before the Vita but I think Jin's show. more of a Destiny guy, because like, I, I know Jin goes on there a lot. Jin loves Destiny. I was a Destiny fan at one point, but I was like, eh, just kind of passed. Not necessarily that's a bad series or nothing, especially since Bungie got away from Activision. Second yep. game, Jin can tell you straight up, the second game's doing a lot better. I mean a lot better. Now that Bungie is away from Activision, they can do their own thing. Destiny 2 is even free from Plus last year. I got it in my library, just haven't actually touched it. Nice.
Don't fall just yet, buddy. There we go. Yeah. That's the Sintami stone. It's one of the mysticals in this team. Yeah, to me, it's probably the best overall mystical. You never know if you're not in a position to be revived. So, Jin, you're playing Destiny? Exactly. <laughs> it is. Ah! I, I, th I think oh, uh, one day um, Super should team up with, with Jin Kun on Destiny. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> Dude, that's dude. You sound like John Marston. I ain't gonna lie to you. Every time you say hi, it reminds me of John. To be fair, he is an armored dude, but still. They still cannot believe that Trevor killed Johnny. He killed Johnny. The story for GTA stopped me in a bunch like six years ago. Exactly awesome, but don't you miss Johnny? <laughs> uh, he was okay. He, I, I personally like, of the two DLC characters, I liked Luis Lopez better. No, but Johnny had that awesome biker gang. It felt like I was in a 1980s biker gang movie. Dude, that's why I like his, his, his show, but fortunately he had to die, man. And the thing is, and the thing is... I'm, I was I I didn't even like the boss fight with Billy Gray like that. The boss fight kind of felt like unfinished. You know what I mean? I, Billy Billy didn't exactly go out the way I wanted him to go out. You know what I mean? Billy reminds me of Big Smoke in a way because they both have one thing in common. You know, they're with the gang and then they freaking betray you. Uh, but sure, I might want a box or something because I legit got pinned to death. Oh, come on, Austin. I can actually reach for you. I think they'll let you reach for me. Think about it. Uh, hey, that Harbinger me. ain't gonna scare me. I can get you back up. I appreciate it. Thank you. But, no, so then but, Trevor but, was but, like, but, I'm gonna here's, beat here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. You remember how mm -hmm. in the Ballad of Gay Tony version, um, Billy legit admits, sh reveals that he is planning to backstab Johnny in the back by um, bribing that, tri that triad dude? Yeah, I remember that. Yep. And, he, and then Luis is like, watch it, you greaseball fuck. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, boo. I watched your con getting killed on the TV. Great show. That was, that was so wrong. <laughs> that was wrong. Oh my God. My first cutscene was when Ashley did something stupid with, with the Russian gangs. Yeah. Then he's like, if you want your girlfriend to be alive, you have to do business with me. You have to kidnap somebody. Dude, I'm not in the kidnapping business, bro. And then like the Russian guy was like, and I'm not in the dude business. 
Ah, uh, funny moments. I'm not in the dude business, dude. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm a dude that's scared in the 1960s time war. That was legit. Pretty, that was. That was legit good. Hmm. Kept you that, waiting, huh? Give me that key now. By the way, super. I don't know if you can tell, but the GX. 39, the GX39 that you've been seeing from a lot of these dudes, it's the Gmail from Uncharted 3. So, just without the scope. Yeah. Alright. Oh, yeah. Nice. So, do you guys want to call it here or what? Alright. Okay. I'm going to call it a night to Super House Asleep and uh, All right, I'm guys. tired. Lars the Gamer 42. Hope you all enjoyed episode 135 of Uncharted Force of Night. Night. Well, hopefully we'll catch you all this weekend for episode 53 of Uncharted 4 Public Survival Day season and peace.